All right, I'm trying to get through lab two here, which is password cracking. Objective was to create a rainbow table for Windows passwords, which is NTLM, then use a dictionary attack to attack crack Linux passwords. And uh, he basically gave us contents of a shadow file here. Um, as you can see, for us to practice cracking, then he's going to give us a few more in the quiz to drop into our shadow file or our Linux password.txt file, whatever you're going to call it, uh, to run the script against to guess the password. All right, so first one was write a Python script to create a hash table for NTLM passwords, which is MD4. Wants us to use this dictionary here, where it's uh, basically just a list file. You go to it, you know, just hit Control A, Control C, that, uh, paste it into a text file, save it in your Word, your uh, your Kali Linux. Um, I've already done that, so let's go and see what we've got. So, there's my dictionary text. Let's check it out real fast. Dictionary dot text. Let's check it out. Just to verify it is functional. Okay, there it is. All right. He wanted us to write a Python script to basically take this dictionary file here and make a rainbow table out of it. Have the word on one side, then have a colon, and then have the IntelM hash. So let's take a look at my NTLM rainbow.python script. Uh, pretty easy, so he gave us a website to go to uh, in class that basically had uh, this line here as well as this line. All I did was um, imported the hash lib and the bin ASCII because of what we're going to um, right here with this UTLF, UTF-16LE. That was the hint that he gave us in uh, the lab document. So it's going to open up a text file called NTLM rainbow table dot text file. It's with write, so that's a W. If it was R, it would be reading it. For word in, it's going to open up my dictionary text file. It's going to read it. And it's going to split for each line. It's going to take a look at it. It's going to do an MD4. It's going to encode it with that uh, that ASCII U2LF. And then it's going to write it out, the word, which is the original dictionary word. It's going to add that colon there. And then it's going to write that MD4 um, with that encoding there. Then it's going to give a new line like that. All right. It's pretty easy. So let's run it. All right, so it ran, didn't tell me any output, but I can hit LS again here and be like, okay. I know it's supposed to output this right here. Uh, let's open it up and see what the output was. There we go. So we've got our MD4 hash, so we got our original dictionary word. And we got our MD4 hash. Let's go all the way down. Yep. Boom. All right. So it looks like that was successful. All right. The second one was to basically take that same dictionary, um, which is dictionary.txt here, and then actually copy over the shadow file. And that's a. Uh... So if you're going to copy a file, so we know. So the command would be cp for copy, and you got your etsy, you got your shadow, which is the file that you want, and then you want, that's your the file that you're copying, which is the shadow, which he's given us in the lab document. Then you want to add the directory that you want it to move to. And so, well, 
I'm sorry, copy to. You don't want to do move. Move would actually take a file from the original location and move it to the new location. So you would just hit CP, which is copy, the original file, and then the new location. And so I've already done that. And so you can see I've got shadow. If I hit the LS, there's shadow listed. Uh, let's do a cat of shadow. And it's got quite a few. Um, you're going to have these two. Um, Pass usernames and then and then uh, hashes here. Hit Control L to clear the screen. All right. Let's see. So I've got actually two uh, Python scripts that actually worked on this one. So the first one I had was next. Let's take a look at that one. That's a dictionary. Attack pie. Now he said his in class was 14 lines long. Um, I've got quite a few prints in here. So we got the import crypt, and and basically what I did was so there's a book out there called Violent Python, and it actually has um, a section in there. So like basically your first Python script, crack a Unix password, and now it's using the old DES where this salt was a crypt pass with zero um, colon then two because it was a lot shorter here. Um, but this one is just crypt pass and it's from the zero to 11. So if you were to take a look at that, started from that dollar six dollar, if you start counting, count 11 characters, that's your salt. Um, the dollar six dollars basically telling you that it is uh, SHA-512 and the rest of that's your salt. So what this is going to do is going to print out the salt here. It's going to open up the dictionary text. It's going to read it. Um, and then for the word in the file, it's going to read the lines. It's going to strip each word out, you know, at the new line. It's going to crypt the word. And this one right here is actually crypting it with the salt, which is basically the crypt password. You can actually change this from salt. You can put actual crypt pass in there as well. Um, I took out, I commented out the print of the of what the actual hash value word and what the crypt word was. So basically, as it was um, looking for the password, it was going through every uh, word in the dictionary. It was in, it was crypting it, and then it was displaying it on the screen. The problem was, is um, I don't need to see all those results. So then, so if the crypt word is equal to actually the, the password, it'll say it's a found password, and it'll tell you what it is. Boom, and it'll return. If not, it says it's not in the dictionary. You can't find it. Here's the main. Um, pass file equals open. So this is what we're actually reading. What it's looking for is Linux passwords for the line in the pass file read lines. If you, you got here, so remember you said you got to separate by the colons. You use that line split to the first user. Um, as soon as it hits that first colon, it knows everything to the left of that is the user username. Um, and it's got your crypt pass, again, using the colon. And then it says it's cracking password for the username. And then, boom, it's testing for that, that crypt password that's being found up here. All right, so let's run this baby and see if it actually works. So, again, it's going to read from the dictionary. And it's going to compare it to our Linux passwords here. There's cracking password for Tommy. You can see what the salt is on the password, which is Utopia. It does the same for Mathis. It's Turtle and then Tristan, one, two, three, four, five. Found another one, which is pretty much the same. Um, matter of fact, it's, it's almost identical. You can see um, it pretty much, it's almost, a, it, basically it's exactly the same. So let's run that one as well. This time I commented out the salt, so it's not printing out the salt. 
but it's saving the same passwords uh, for each three. So there you have it. So then all I would have to do now is take the quiz, add in the other three, uh, the other three cryptid hashes, the other three hashes that are in the quiz, drop that in. And so all I would do it would go over here. I would do my little G edit there for my Linux passwords. I would just drop it in there, hit save. Now I'd run those scripts and see what those new passwords were. All right, that's all I got, guys. Hopefully that uh, that helps some.